Hello and welcome to this IX Network video tutorial covering the new reporting features in IX Network 6.0 which are provided by the new IX Reporter 2.0. In Chapter 1 we're going to cover the new Results and Reports tab provided in IX Network 6.0. To start with here we have IX Network 6.0 up and running and we're looking at the overview screen where we can see we have two ports up and running we have BGP sessions up and we have traffic currently up and running as well. Now we're at the point where we want to generate a report. So we first navigate to results and reports and in this new tab there's several new options. So first of all you can select the defined test parameters. Here in this pop-up you have several fields including general information, uh, device under test information, test highlights, test objectives, which can be typed in and then this information can be imported into the report. You also have some options here for the, the detailed results. So we're going to talk a little bit about when you save results, if you're saving a summary or a detailed, and if you're saving detailed results you have options to enable more statistics that are collected. The trade-off however is the more statistics collected the longer the save result time will be. So by default the learned information and flow group uh, settings are turned off. So once you've defined the test parameters and those again are imported into results, you next have your, the ability to save the results. So if you were to click on the top button here, it will initiate a save detailed results. So this new save results basically stores all of the current configuration and statistics into a object model database. This is a new object model database which has been created to provide more rich reporting. Here in Save Results you also have the ability to choose to just do a Save Summary Results. So again a summary will be a subset of the information. It's usually you know, good enough for summary reports but it doesn't have some of the detailed information you want. So you'll have the option to Save Summary or Save Detailed. And then there's another option here called Enable Auto Save of All Results. And the autosave option basically enables CSV logging. So if you are uh, if you're looking at information and, and being able to graph it over time or look at data points over time, uh, you would want to enable the autosave of those which will store it in a CSV file. But basically, you know, these two these new options for save results, again, save to the new object model database. Here you also have a link to the data miner. Data Miner is essentially the uh, legacy view of our result collections and um, when you run quick tests like 2544 you typically will go into the Data Miner and initiate test reports from there. That's essentially like the legacy mode of generating reports and that functionality is still there and still available. The other thing that you'll see on this toolbar here is under the Generate Reports section we have a one-click button to generate a PDF report and we have a one-click button to generate an HTML report. If you choose to do these options basically at that point if you have not saved results it will initiate a save detailed results and it will generate a report using what's known as the default template. So you can customize what template is chosen as the default template but essentially a click on this button will uh, initiate a detailed capture as well as a PDF report. Now if you have already performed a save result it will not initiate another save result so it will just generate the report based on that same information that was collected whenever that save result was done. The next uh, button here you see is report wizard so in chapter 2 we're going to cover um, detailed information about the report wizard. The next option here is the snip report button and the SNP report button again uh, is an advanced feature new in IX Network 6.0 and I'll cover that in detail in Chapter 3 and then finally you have the ability to actually launch the IX Reporter tool. So IX Network is fully integrated with IX Reporter with the ability to generate reports directly from IX Network but in some cases you may want to actually go and create templates customize templates, edit the content of the reports, and in that case you would want to launch Reporter 
and go into the new designer features and functionality within Reporter. And those will be covered in a separate training video. Here in Chapter 2, we're going to take a detailed look at the report wizard itself. In this case, I've already initiated a save results, so we're going to go ahead and run the report wizard. So to run the wizard, you click on this button called the report wizard. And the first screen that comes up is the select template option. So here you'll have a list of templates to choose from. One of the templates will be indicated that it is the default template. So if you don't specify another template, the default template will be chosen for you. So by default, the master template, which has uh, summary sections for all of the supported protocols, is, is chosen by default. In this case, I have a BGP test running, so I can choose the BGP detailed template by clicking here. And uh, there are some features and tools to navigate your folders for templates as well as import a template if uh, there's one that uh, someone has shared with you that you want to import into the wizard. So after selecting the BGP detail template, just click Next. In this next screen of the wizard, you have the ability to select the output parameters. The out output formats of the report are a PDF report or an HTML report. Then you have the ability to configure the file name and location of where the report is saved. And we have the ability to uh, email uh, recipients to notify them that the test report is completed. And we can even include the report as an option. So if you were to want to do this option, you would just send an email like this. You just put an email address in this field and then uh, move on. In this example, though, my, uh, my particular PC does not have the email client configured. So under, underlying, you have to have a Windows machine or your, your machine has to have your default mail client um, configured and supported. So for, for my example, I, I won't enable the notify feature and click Next. So this next screen in the wizard is called Select Sections. So a report template is made up of individual sections. And those sections are either, when the report template itself is created, those templates are flagged as being summary sections or detailed sections. So because of that, you then have a navigator here to say, I only want a summary report or I want a detailed report. When I choose detailed report, I can see three additional sections are added. The configuration section, detailed statistics, and protocol interface configuration. So you have the filter for summary or detailed. Then you also have the ability to include or exclude specific sections from your report. So it's a nice ability to make the report itself, the content of the report flexible by being able to include or exclude information. So for example, if I did not want to include my traffic summary, let's say I didn't run traffic, I could disable this section and generate the report. Let's move on to next. So here in this screen, we've already talked about the defined test parameters that's available in the IX network GUI um, under the report uh, results and reports tab. However, if you're running the wizard and you want to override that information, you can configure this specific information here again with a dot name, report uh, generation username, test highlights, and then, and then you check this button here and it will override those parameters that you've entered. In this case, I'm not going to do that, so I'll uncheck that option to override those parameters. Then again, click Next. Finally, in the last screen of the wizard, you have presentation options. So when a template is built, it is built with a certain look and feel. So you could have poten uh, potentially color options and things like that that are already in the template. Now, on this screen, you have the ability, if there is a cover page as part of the report, you can override the cover page image and select your own image to use. Again, the report template would need to be including a cover page. Next, in layout, you can override the template settings and force a landscape or portrait format. Uh, if you don't select anything, we'll just use the defaults of the template itself. You can select this to adjust column width to fit the page. So if you like your tables, 
um, to essentially extending to where they're fit, a full fit to the full page, it, then you can choose that option. And then finally, these themes apply particular color format and, and look and feel options to the report. So if you select this, you could select a, a particular report and then that look and feel would be implemented in the generation of the report. If it's not selected, we will use the default settings of that template. So once complete, you just click Finish, and you'll see on the bottom toolbar, I can uh, slide down my re recording window a little bit, on the bottom toolbar, you'll see a progress that's the report is being generated. So once that generation is complete, the default behavior is for the corresponding report to open up. So my report generation is complete and I can see the PDF application opened and I can see my test results here and I can uh, just browse down through the results to ensure that it generated like I expected. So now you can save this or send it off uh, or file it into uh, you know, where you need to for your test reporting. But this is an example of walking through the IX network, the new report wizard that's available introduced in IX Network 6.0. Here in Chapter 3, we'll cover the SNP feature, which is introduced in IX Network 6.0. So again, on the Results and Reports tab, you have this new option called SNP. So what the SNP feature is, it's an integrated screen capture utility as well as a, the ability to generate a report that includes the, the screen capture itself. So the primary purpose for this feature is essentially for bug reporting. When you notice or you're trying to capture something specific that's occurring in your test and you want to include it in your, uh, in your results. So, for example, let's uh, take a look at some statistic counters here. So I'm looking at my statistics here for BGP. I can see my sessions are up, but one flap has occurred. So let's just say that I wanted to capture this flap. Now, you know, examples of this could be, you know, high latency or packet loss or, you know, particular errors were occurring. Whatever the occurrence may be happening, the key aspect here is that you want to capture it with a screen capture and then include it in a test report. So under the new SNP option, you first will choose to do take a SNP. So to, as soon as you select take a SNP, the screen will gray and then you can use your pointer to then select and highlight the area that you want to capture. So in this example again, I'm going to capture my BGP counters and I uh, let go of the, the window. Now it launches uh, basically a SNP wizard. So here I have first is the ability to title the screenshot itself. So I will call it BGP session flap. So that title will uh, can be used in the uh, corresponding report that's generated. In the description I could put something meaningful about the capture of what I noticed. So I'll put in I put in flap captured during BGP test. So that this information has the title, the screenshot itself, and the description. Next on this side, you have the ability to actually generate a report with it. So the default template that we provide for you is called the bug report. So the bug report essentially is the master template with a section on the top which will include the title, the screenshot, and the description. So I will go ahead and generate a report for that, but if you wanted to customize or generate another report, you could click this button and select another report to, to generate. Now, just so you know, if you go and you select under the data and you go under templates, if you select another template that is shipped with IX Network, if that template doesn't have a section for the, the SNP report, then it won't be included. So what you can do is uh, you can go into the bug report template itself and copy those sections or import them into another report if that's what you wanted to do. 
But for this example, I'll use the bug report template and I'll output the report as PDF. So the other um, options you have is you can make the wizard initiate a new save. Uh, in this case, we have a save that has occurred already, so I don't need to. You can email. Again, I don't have my email client set up on this PC, so I won't email it. But you could email the report, so I'll disable that option. And then finally, when the report is generated, you can select to open the report file or browse the report folder. So we have a few options on the bottom of this dialog as well. One is you can generate report, which is what we'll do. You can also copy to clipboard. So you can just again use this as a screenshot utility and copy that screenshot to the clipboard for which you then could paste into other applications like email or Word document or something else. This other option here is save to test results. What this will do is while you're actively testing, if you wanted to take multiple screenshots or SNPs and save them to the test results, these SNP image files will be available to you in the IX Reporter application for you to build and customize a report using those captures. So for this example, I'll go ahead and hit Generate Report. Again, on the bottom of the application, you'll see the progress bar as the report is generated. Okay, so now the report has uh, been generated, and I can see here at the top of my re uh, results here is the bar called SNP Highlights. So I can see BGP Session Flap, so that was the title. It has the screenshot, and has a block here for the text. So the text I entered is imported here. Then as I page down, it has the rest of the information that was part of that test template, which includes the dashboard with traffic statistics and a section for the BGP um, configuration and statistics that were used in this test. So that's an example of the SNP report. So again, the SNP tool can be used to take screenshots and save those screenshots in your test results. It also can be used to initiate a screenshot and then generate a report using that, which we refer to as a SNP report or a bug report. So this concludes this video on the IX Network reporting features. These are introduced in IX Network 6.0, and again, these new reporting features are enabled by the new IX Reporter 2.0. Thank you.